Happy together. Michelle has a look at our uh, Friday forecast and also ahead to the weekend. What's the latest, Michelle? Well, we're still thinking a 50-50 weekend with uh, rain to start off, but dry skies at the finish of the weekend. Starting off, though, with early this morning, and it's a slippery start. Any untreated surfaces covered with a layer of you know, thin black ice. Very difficult to see this time of day when it has formed. And again, while the major roadways have all been treated, it's as you get into some of the neighborhood streets, your driveways, parking lots at work that may be a little bit slick. Temperatures, well, they have fallen below freezing now for Rhode Island and Bristol County, Massachusetts. Boston, too, at 23, 26, Providence, 28, Westerly, Newport's at 27, Smithfield at 23. We're still in the mid-30s this morning. There may be some patchy ice out on the Cape, but it's not as much of an issue as you head further to the east. Wind chills this morning dipping into the teens. We're at 12 above in Smithfield. That's what you need to plan on it feeling like as you head out this morning. 19, Newport. 22 in Westerly. At the bus stop this morning, mainly cloudy skies, but dry about 25 to 30. The clouds are going to be tough to shake today. We may see some peaks of sun at times, but overall it's still going to be you know, mostly cloudy. 36 to 39 this afternoon. Take a look at the satellite and radar. Nice to see the uh, storminess from the last couple of days moving away. Our center of low pressure all the way out here on the edge of your screen. But our next weather system going to be racing towards the east coast. That one's going to take a much different path than this last storm did. It's going to head inland. And the result will, for us will be that we will be able to tap into much warmer air. So even overnight tonight, I expect the temperatures to rise rather than fall through the night. We are going to see this cool air that we have over the northeast today. It's going to stick around during the afternoon hours. But you can see where the greens and the yellow show up. Temperatures in the upper 40 St. Louis this morning. That warm air is going to be moving in and by tomorrow afternoon we should be in the 50s for highs. This afternoon though we're going to have to settle on the uh, upper 30s. About 39 in Newport winds turn to the southeast. Light clouds, some sunny peaks about 38 Hope Valley and Coventry while the northern suburbs will find highs in the mid to upper 30s. Johnston and Cumberland and in southeastern Massachusetts near 40 for New Bedford 39 Fall River. Taking a look at the overnight future cast and actually this evening. Now, if you have plans to be out and about this evening, we are going to be dry. It looks like from 8 o'clock through 10 o'clock in the evening. I don't have any rain in the forecast. It's after midnight. Notice what the temperatures do. They drop to the mid 30s and then start to climb into the upper 30s to low 40s by early tomorrow morning. So while this particular computer model showed a little bit of brief sleet or wet snow at the onset, quick changeover to rain. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. Rain continues off and on through the morning on Saturday. These yellows and oranges, even perhaps some isolated thunderstorms. Timing wise, I look for it to move off the coastline by late afternoon. We may even see a little bit of sun before the day is up on Saturday. So it's not an all day soaking, but the first half of the day, at least Saturday, looks very wet. Sunday is dry, 46, partly sunny skies, about 39 for your high on Monday and Tuesday. And then another warm-up Wednesday and Thursday of next.